Hey guys, I wanted to do another quick video for you. This is a really weird, crazy pattern, but it's just an example pattern to exercise my X, Y, and Z. Ooh yeah, you can see it's moving in all axes right now. We are hooked into my clear path software for my SDSK 3432S servo motor. This little guy is amazing, but I think it's just a tiny bit underpowered for what I need, um, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to put the order in tonight for the next step up. It'll give me an extra 100 ounce inches of torque. Yeah, when it's trying to do those upward motions it seems to exceed the torque limit a little bit. Torque saturation. But there it is, guys. First time ever my machine is successfully running X, Y, and Z all in concert together. It's pretty freaking cool. I'm not making any chips because I didn't want to... Yeah, it's squawking a little bit because it's just pulling a little bit too much torque. It's able to do the moves, but... It's so smooth. It really, really is. It's amazing. That little motor right there doing all the work that the old half horsepower three phase did. And uh, what's cool is a machined bracket to hold it, connected it up with that Loctite 638 glue, which is amazing, by the way. Three hours cure time was all it needed to lock onto that spindle and uh, yeah this thing's rocking. I took out the um, I had a little bit of run out on my shaft so I just matched up the high part on the shaft to the low part on the new coupler I made and I have less than one thousandth run out now so I'm able to direct couple it right in makes it nice and smooth and I don't I did buy a spider coupling but I don't even need to use it here it's it's actually gorgeous just a little uh, bummed out and I keep getting torque saturation yeah here it goes it's creeping up 72 73 74 yeah just a bit too much for it yeah now it's back down 68 69 i'd like to see those numbers in the 20 30 rms range not dancing up in the 70 80 range and on the other one, I had a real, real set of slow upward Z movements, and it was actually worse. The slow, slow movements seemed to creep up on the RMS quite a lot more than these more um, rapid movements do. So I guess when it has a little bit more velocity, it's able to help overcome. Sorry, my screensaver came on able to overcome the torque a little bit better but on the slow movements it's just kind of at the mercy of the machine of the weight of the machine so I am gonna go ahead and order the step up the next level up servo here a little bit bummed I can't start making parts but I wanna do this right and the guys at Technic have been great actually phenomenal with helping me out even though I'm a little guy 
So shout out to them. I can't believe how smooth that Z runs. I mean, I really uh, didn't do a whole lot of tuning, a little bit of settings in my Linux CNC to get it right, but see there, that slow upward motion right there, that slow upward motion is what really pushes it. Yep, yeah, you can see 79, 80, that's what got it up to 100% on my other one. It was just a slow, gradual upward motion. So, all right. I think that this video is long enough. I will let you guys go. Peace out.